Hey Kids Club, I'm May, and right now I'm working on building a super duper extra awesome chain reaction. A chain reaction is when one thing causes something else to happen, which causes something else to happen, which causes something else to happen. Maybe you've seen a chain reaction before. Maybe it was a chain of dominoes, like this. Ready? Three, two, one. Maybe you've made one yourself, like my friend Sam. one like I'm doing now. I got this kit in the mail and it's been really fun to build and experiment with. I'm showing you these chain reactions because today we're gonna find out how one small but important decision can lead to something even bigger, which is the perfect time to share today's big idea with you. Today's big idea is Jesus forgives us. And to understand more about forgiveness and how Jesus forgives us, maybe it would help to understand how Jesus forgave someone else. That someone is named Peter, and you can read his story in the Bible. You can also learn about Peter by watching this. So, here's where we are in the story. God sent his son Jesus to rescue people from their sin. And while he spent time teaching and healing and talking to people, he also made some really good friends. And one of those friends was Peter. Peter was a fisherman. He loved everything about fish. In fact, every time you hear me say the word fish, we'll give Peter another fish to carry. Sound good, Peter? Excellent. Here we go. So Peter loved fish. He liked catching fish. He fished in the morning. He probably fished in the afternoon. We know he fished at least once in the middle of the night. He fished alone. He fished with friends. He ate a lot of fish. Fish for breakfast, fish for lunch, fish for dinner, and fish for dessert. There was only one thing Peter liked more than fish. It was his best friend, Jesus. In fact, the day they met, guess what Peter was doing? That's right, he was fishing. Peter liked to search for fish, and Jesus liked to search for people who needed forgiveness. Everyone needs forgiveness. The kind of forgiveness God gives covers every mistake or wrong thing we've ever said or done or thought, and it covers every mistake or wrong thing we ever will say or do or think in the future. Instead of punishing us, God forgives us and invites us to be in his family and loved by him forever. Pretty soon, Peter started spending a little less time fishing and a lot more time with Jesus. And he realized Jesus was more than just a friend. He could do miracles. He could make sick people healthy again. He even healed Peter's own mother-in-law. He could do amazing things, like walk on top of water. Jesus was a good friend to Peter, and most of the time, Peter was a good friend to Jesus. He tried to protect Jesus. He tried to tell him that he would always be there for Jesus. But he wasn't perfect, and he wasn't always there for Jesus. One night, Jesus explained to his friends and Peter that he was going to be killed. But he would come back to life. And before that happened, his friends would pretend they didn't know him. Peter said, no way, I'd never do that. But guess what? What Jesus said would happen, happened. Every bit of it. Jesus was arrested and his friends pretended not to know him, even Peter. And it didn't just happen once or twice. Peter denied knowing Jesus three times and Jesus was killed. Peter knew he had let his friend down, and he couldn't fix it. Jesus was dead. But 
this story doesn't stay sad because Jesus didn't stay dead. Three days after Jesus died, he came back to life. And guess who he went looking for? Peter. And guess where he found him? Fishing. Jesus called out to Peter. And as soon as Peter saw Jesus, he jumped out of the boat and swam to shore where Jesus had made him breakfast, his favorite broiled fish. Peter hadn't seen Jesus since the night he denied knowing him three times. Jesus could have been mad at Peter, but he wasn't. He wanted to talk to his friend. He wanted to forgive Peter. He wanted to give Peter a chance to say, I love you, Jesus. And Peter did. Not once, not twice, but three times. From then on, Peter still loved to search for fish. But he also loved to search for people who didn't know about Jesus, so he could share how much he loved them and how they could be forgiven by Jesus too. We can do that too. And I can't wait for you to hear that story. So that's part of the story of Peter. When Jesus forgave Peter, it set off a chain reaction <laughs> of lots of other good things, like Peter feeling love instead of shame, and Peter telling more people about Jesus so they could feel God's love too. And when we ask Jesus to forgive us, it sets off a chain reaction. Remember, a chain reaction is when something happens that causes something else to happen, that causes something else to happen, that causes something else to happen, and so on. Forgiveness changes us. It makes us more like Jesus. And when we're more like Jesus, we do things like serve and take care of other people. And when we do things like serve and take care of other people, they know they're loved. And when people know they're loved, they're kind to others. And when people are kind to others, everyone's lives are a little bit better. When we decide to ask Jesus to forgive us, we're saying, Jesus, I know I've made mistakes and I know I wanna be more like you. Please forgive me and show me how to be more like you. It's a chain reaction that goes on and 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 all sorts of good things happen. All because Jesus forgives us and we wanna be more like him. Let me try that once more. Yeah. Hey, Kids Club, we're back with today's big idea, Jesus forgives us. And when we decide to be more like him, lots of other good things happen. It's a chain reaction. Now, we're gonna watch the story of Peter one more time. This time, see if you notice anything new about Peter, about Jesus, or about forgiveness. Now watch this. Oh, yes! God's story, Peter. So part of God's story is about a guy named Peter, and it goes like this. Peter was one of the first people to become a friend and disciple or follower of Jesus. Peter was a fisherman on the Sea of Galilee when he first met Jesus. On that day, Jesus asked Peter to go into deep water to fish. When Peter obeyed Jesus, he caught so many fish that his boats began to sink. So Peter fell at Jesus' feet with amazement. Then Jesus said, from now on, you will be catching men, which basically meant now that Peter followed Jesus, he could help other people follow Jesus too. After that, Peter and the disciples followed Jesus everywhere. They got to see his miracles, hear about the kingdom of heaven, and see what God was like by spending time with his son. One night, when the disciples left in a boat ahead of Jesus, Jesus joined them later. <gasps> by walking across the sea, it was dark and stormy, so the disciples thought he was a ghost. But Jesus said, it's me. Peter was so amazed that he actually stepped out of the boat to go to Jesus, which means he walked on top of the water too. But as soon as he saw the waves, he got scared and started to sink. Jesus called him and said, why did you doubt me? See, Jesus wanted Peter to trust him even when it made no sense. Mm. After all, God is powerful and controls everything. When Jesus climbed into the boat, the disciples worshiped him. But some people did not believe Jesus is God's son, even after seeing his miracles or hearing about the amazing things he did. 
In fact, they got so mad that Jesus said he's God's son that they had Jesus arrested. So when Peter realized he could get in trouble just for following Jesus, he pretended he didn't even know him. One night, he told three different people that he didn't know Jesus at all. What's amazing is that Jesus had told Peter he was going to deny him three times. That means Jesus knew Peter would mess up and he loved him anyway. And guess what? Jesus feels the same way about us. He told Peter to keep on following him, and he did. Peter was there when Jesus was killed, when he came back to life, and when he rose straight up into the sky into heaven. Peter and the other disciples who believed in Jesus took care of each other and people in need. Every day, new people saw the way they loved each other and chose to follow Jesus and be a part of God's family too. And no matter what happened, even when life got hard, Peter and the other disciples kept following Jesus. And because they bravely told more and more people about Jesus, we get to know about Jesus and follow him today. And that's the story of Peter. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Peter was a fisherman. He followed Jesus. He showed others how to follow Jesus. Peter saw Jesus was God's son. Jesus helped him walk on water. Peter messed up. Jesus loved him anyway. Peter kept following Jesus and sharing him with others. Lots of people started following Jesus. News of Jesus spread. We can follow him today. And that's a part of God's story. Great job learning about how Jesus forgives us today, Kids Club. Now here's my challenge to you. See if you can build your own chain reaction machine to help you remember that when you say yes to Jesus and yes to his forgiveness, good things keep happening and happening and happening.